off the big Pekin Dragons Classic tees off today. Great day for the host team. Mason Minkle, the lefty senior, had a 66. Carter Stevenson, a 67. Pekin has a big lead heading into tomorrow at Lick Creek. Normal U High is second. Dunlap, led by 74s by Eli Lancer here. And Cole Fear is third as a team. The tournament again wraps up tomorrow. Well, tonight was scheduled to be Football Friday, week four. Instead, Peoria Richwood stormed on the field for photo night. It's not quite as exciting as all the drama, but it's nice to see them in their game day uniforms. They played seven on seven in Elmwood under the Friday night lights. The kids were having a blast. At Farmington, they invited the cheerleaders and actually had fans under the Friday night lights. Sure hurts all these high school players knowing every other Midwest state is now playing high school football in the fall. You come driving up and you start getting those feelings and you're looking saying, well, you know, we should be out here playing some football and doing these things. But uh, I just wanted to get the kids out here, give them a chance, get the uniforms, take some pictures with the parents. It's something we look forward to every single fall. And it's, it's around the whole community. It's, it builds a community together, it builds a school together. It gives something the whole school to look forward to. It's really important. It's more than just football. It's all life. I mean, the one, number one thing I've been saying to people is just I hope that we get a season no matter what. If we just get to play, then I'm fine with whatever happens. And how about this Friday Night Lights highlight? Final play of the Elmwood 7-on-7. Seven seven. The buzzer's going off. Charlie Schisler, the bomb to Craig Ramirez for the game winner. Hooray. All right. Hey, tomorrow is the big Let Us Play rally, high school sports rally in both Springfield and Chicago. 